Well, 2014 has the uh, title Sacred Earth, Sacred Self. And um, over the years, we've um, called out um, the, the importance of being aware of the world we live in and understanding the state of the world that we live in um, and certainly the environmental, the state of, of the world from an environmental perspective, meaning how well is our environment doing, uh, has been um, a big part of, of the uh, kind of festival orientation. And we've tried to look at that on a basic level, meaning from the point of view of the elements and, and have had elemental themes uh, as the theme of, of, of a given year. So for example, um, one year was sacred, or, uh, sacred air, another was sacred soil, another was sacred water, et cetera. So we've done, done years and years of this kind of work. And uh, this year's theme is an attempt to kind of um, uh, recognize that, that work that we've done in the past and then deliberately call out the human connection uh, to the, the all life on this earth. So that's and we've used always as a um, uh, as a, a, a kind of an orientation for these themes the word sacred. Um, so sacred earth, sacred self is hopefully a little bit um, uh, clear in terms of what we hope to to get out of this year's festival by way of the title. Um, but but I, I will say just to add I, I think th th there is um, a lot that we could get into on the subject of of, of sacredness, and I and our hope uh, you know at the festival is to really um, uh, create and 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 sort of um, foster a sort of a sense of a sacred space as it relates to the um, uh, the situation we hope to foster uh, in the in the conversations and dialogues.